Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games, and I'm here to show you something pretty interesting. Okay, well, I make fun little videos here on YouTube, and I also stream every day on Twitch. And for that reason, this is why I find it very important. If you are somebody like me, and you are out there streaming all the time, and you're tired of looking to the left, or if you don't have another monitor, for example, I have three monitors, but I do like looking at a specific place on my screen uh, for Twitch chat. Now, normally I would look on the left, but sometimes when I do that, it kind of looks like I'm looking off the camera and it, it just kind of gets a little distracting, especially when you're watching the VOD back, right? So what can you do? How can you get the Twitch chat to show up? Well, there are other applications, like you can obviously get third-party applications that uh, might have it built in where Twitch chat shows up. But the problem with those that I find is that they always have the chat overlay kind of interfere with everything. So for example, you have a giant box that you can't have too much transparency on um, and it tends to get in the way. Um, and potentially sometimes it doesn't really look that nice. Well, thankfully there is a program called Ghost Chat. Now Ghost Chat is a company that are, as far as I know, it was open source. Uh, they made it just a portable version and a desktop version that you could install as well. I always use a portable version, but of course it's entirely up to you. I'll leave a link in the description as well. All you gotta do is very straightforward. You say, okay, what channel do I wanna kind of look at? And I'm gonna obviously choose my own and to press enter. It's gonna say, connected, waiting for messages to appear. New messages will appear, uh, will be added to the bottom. You can go ahead and drag it to whichever part of the screen that you want it to show on. And then you go ahead and wait for a chat to come in. So let's go ahead and test it. Testing for YouTube, enter. And sure enough, it shows up. Now, of course you're probably sitting there saying, well, I really don't want a big purple box showing up. So what are your other options? And that's where things start to get really fun. You click on hide borders and make the window click through, boom. So now it says connected for waiting and uh, waiting for things. Hello, this is a test. So now I can play my game. It's not taking over a ton of space on my screen and I'm able to see all the text. Now, of course, you can also limit how big that is by, you know, making that box smaller, um, which obviously is a lot easier as well. And of course, it's not going to interfere. So I can go ahead and play all I want. It's not going to it's not going to show up or the box is not going to move around. I'm able to still click on my game. My game takes priority over everything. So I'm still able to click wherever I want up here. You can see me clicking and doing anything that I want within my game and everything is perfectly with the way that I want it to be. So yeah, that is exactly how you would get yourself ghost chat on your, for if you're using it for Twitch, um, or of course, even if you're just playing uh, and you're watching somebody's chat and you do, you obviously want to see what's going on. For example, if you're playing with a streamer or something like that, you can use ghost chat, it's completely free. Like I said, it's open source. You don't even have to install it. If You don't even have to connect your Twitch account, which is awesome because some of these programs make you log in and it's like, why do I need to log in? So it's awesome that they do that. So go ahead and give it a test run. Tell me how you like it. And I hope that you're able to get yourself some cool, cool text just showing up on your screen and not even having to look away um, when you're either reading chat or if you're just interacting or whatever you decide to do. But uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you out a ton um, and I will see you in the next one.